One of the most common questions that I am getting so far as we lead up to MLB The Show 19 is what are you going to be doing day one? Which game modes are you going to be playing? Which game modes should you play? Let's get into it. What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and I want to talk to you guys about day one. What I'm going to be doing on day one. I'm very interested to see what you guys are going to be doing on day one. So if you could drop that down in the comment section below, I'd be really interested to see what you guys are going to do on day one as well. But this is pretty much what I'm going to do on day one. I think it's going to be a little bit different than what most people are going to do. I'll be opening up packs, especially the packs that I get with my pre-order of the digital deluxe i might open some other packs as well and i'll explain why i'm going to do that i'm also going to be buying cards off the market and uh i'm going to do that because i'm going to be looking for particular deals that i might get and uh, i'm also the first thing that i want to do after i do that stuff is i want to jump right into rank seasons and i want to try to level up in rank seasons as fast as i can i want to do that so i can get the rank seasons rewards as quickly as i can because this year uh, once you hit a certain reward or once you hit a certain threshold and how high your overall gets you can get the rewards right away you don't have to wait until the end of the season and there's also some huge xp bonuses at the very end of that and i'll also be accumulating stats for different programs such as team affinity which we'll get into later so that's pretty much going to be my plan off the rip if you guys want to watch this i will be live streaming uh the night of twitch.tv backslash movie game tv is where i do all my live streams so if you want to give me a follow on there uh feel free to and uh the other thing i'd really like to do uh this year that i've never been able to do is i'd like to go after the royals collection and discover that first because the royals the kinsey royals are my favorite team and for instance see uh if you look at this alex gordon right card right here if you look up in the top right of the screen, it says that flashy underscore XV was the one to discover this card. So if I complete the entire collection, there's always a card that comes with completing an entire live series team collection. And I'd like to get my name on the card because I've been playing this game a long time. I've actually never discovered a card. So I'd like to do that this year. Now, with opening packs, um, packs can be a little hot at the beginning of the year. Uh, but they also can have some good value. You might get some silvers that are worth a thousand, two thousand subs off rip as people try to build their team. So day one, there actually can be a good value in the packs as we go later on into the year and there start to be more and more uh, free agents that are in the game. I think your pack odds start to go slightly more and more low because now we have 373 more possibilities in the pack but at the start there only be there won't be as many free agents you might be able to get better cards now what's really cool about this game is you don't have to that's different than like 2k or that's different than Madden is there's only one currency which I really like and you can go and buy cards straight off the market now traditionally what what used to happen was live series cards would go down in value over time but a lot of what's been happening the last two years in mlb 17 and mlb 18 is live series cards had gone drastically up in value whereas like on day one mike trout might be 113,000 subs but as people get stubs and start to play the game more the high-end cards actually get more expensive so i i think there's an argument to be made that if you want to buy a high price card that's your favorite player on day one for instance a card that's going to be really expensive off the jump this year is going to be moogie bets because he's rated really nicely coming into mlb the show 19. it might be better to buy them earlier so i'm going to be looking uh for good deals i know i found like an mlb 17 i got Corey seager what i thought was a good deal he went way up and if you don't collect them you can always resell them to get stubs back and stuff like that so i think it's also you want to open some packs but you also want to buy some stuff stuff off the market to build your team and i really would like to jump into rank seasons right off the jump as quickly as i can after like opening up some packs and building my team because i want to get 
those cards as quickly as possible, those top end rewards, so that I can either sell them or use them on the team. And I also think the XP at the end is going to be very good. And XP is really important this year because you have the XP rewards path to um that's kind of like a uh, battle pass type of thing that i've talked about in my signature series uh which one should you choose video uh so be sure to check out that video if you haven't already so i'd really like to do that but i'd also like to talk about in this video some other things i think people are going to be doing one mode that is new this year is moments now moments um you can think of it the best uh thing to think about is babe ruth calling his shot and then you play that moment and you hit the home run and you're going to get subs and rewards for that and there's going to be several moments that's new to the game this year what's what they're also going to do with moments this year is they're going to bring in some moments from the mlb 19 season so let's say i could see them doing something where someone has a no hitter right and then you maybe have to pitch the last two innings and not give up any hits to get the moment complete maybe there's an epic comeback and you got to do the epic comeback in order to complete the moment. So there should be more moments like that from the MLB 19 season, as well as the classic moments that they already have in the game. Now, when people, when I'm on stream and someone's just getting in the game and they're like, hey, I just got the game, what should I do? Or they're new to the game, this is the first time that they're playing it. I often recommend that they play Conquest Mode. Now, Conquest Mode is a mode where it's almost like... Um, it's almost like playing a game of risk and you take over this entire board and there's some guides online on how to do it I will try to put out a guide this year on how to do it and I know a lot of people are going to jump into this because you do get some good rewards along the way to start your team you'll get a couple golds and you'll probably get a couple diamonds that you can put on your team uh, and they kind of switched it up this year they have more creative maps uh they're gonna have some different maps for us to be able to play throughout the year so that should be pretty entertaining and pretty cool i really recommend conquest if you're just like getting into the game and you want to practice it's like a good quick way to play against the computer while stacking up rewards uh so conquest is definitely a thing that you would want to do day one uh, now the other new thing this year is March to October March to October takes an entire franchise type of season and condenses condenses it down into the key moments throughout that season so you can kind of like quickly get throughout it through a season by playing almost like moments within a season for your team and based on how you're doing you're gonna get hot you're gonna get like your team can be on fire or your team can be cold and um, you can basically play the key moments throughout a season. I think that's going to be a, a thing that a lot of people are going to want to do because it's a new shiny game mode, most much like moments that people are going to want to stream and see what's going on with the new modes. You also will be able to, going throughout that, get some stubs and XP. Now, another new thing they have this year is Team Affinity. Now, Team Affinity is a lot like these team epic programs that we have had in the past and basically what the team epic type of program is is you're going to do different missions and the missions are easier this year uh i think one of them i saw is like 250 innings uh that you have to play and stuff like that with like players from those um uh, specific teams um so for example uh if you're doing the yankees you might have to do 250 innings with Yankees players to unlock one part of it. And if you look at the rewards, uh, you can see how there's a Jason Giambi 85 diamond. Instead of this being at 90%, a lot of them are at 50%. And there's like two ways to get to this 50, 60%. You can either do the missions or you can exchange items to get to that 50% threshold, which is pretty cool. And if you wanna do the missions and exchange them, at the very end, you should get a nice XP uh, reward. And XP really does matter this year. So it's something that you really should consider uh, completing just because it's gonna help you along the XP reward path. And again, if you wanna know more about the XP reward path, you know, check out my signature series uh, video, in I, which I explained like kind of like which ones I would pick first. 
Now there's two other modes you might want to jump into. Uh, the first being Battle Royale. We got to see a sneak peek of the Battle Royale in the last stream from SDS yesterday. There will be one more SDS stream uh, before the end of the year. They're going to do it uh, right on like launch night. They'll be streaming leading up to the launch. So be sure to check that out. Sony San Diego Studio. Be sure to check them out. Drop them a follow on there if you want to watch up until the game gets released. Battle Royale is basically a mode in which you draft a team. Um, you have different rounds. You draft a team. Uh, you pay either the first time you ever played, it's free. But after that, it's 1,500 stubs. You're guaranteed at least one pack. If you can get 12 wins with zero losses, you're going to get some major rewards that you can sell along the way. And also, you have two losses until you're eliminated. It's a really fun mode. It's a good way uh, to just kind of like get a... It's a good way to play the game as far as like you get to use a lot of different cards you can try out different cards before you buy them and uh they're also going to be very profitable if uh you are good at the game and can get to that 12 win threshold now the last mode that you might want to check out is events i'm not sure if there's going to be a day one event they usually last a couple weeks uh, usually like two or three weeks and this is actually in my opinion one of the best way to make stubs in the game is because there's always going to be that cumulative rewards uh, where you can win 20 games or 10 games and be able to sell something in the market and uh, those cards usually you can sell pretty well and if you hold on to them after the event they typically typically go up in price because now no longer can people get that card so the market kind of dwindles in that regard so it's a good way to make stubs now there's two other modes in the game and that is road to the show i think maybe there's going to be some people that want to play road to the show it's kind of like a my player mode in which you basically it's a my player mode in which you basically i don't have one uh up right now but it's a my player mode where you basically go through uh an mlb season there's cut scenes and you just control your creative player you are you're going to answer questions from your coaches that kind of thing uh this year you're going to be like working out i think a lot more as far as like uh you'll be in the gym uh building your players strength and that kind of thing so road to the show is definitely uh one of the more popular game modes that you can play and also, uh, there's still franchise. There is not online franchise this year. It's just a um, regular franchise, but that's also another mode that's extremely uh, popular. So, which mode are you? What are you guys going to be doing day one? If you guys could drop that down in the comment section below, that'd be great. Um, always, I, I like reading the comment section and kind of interacting with the comment section because I'd like to uh, see what you guys are thinking and what you guys are going to do and i honestly think that somebody might have a better strategy than me in this video down in the comments below so be sure to do that uh follow me on twitch if you guys want to see me day one twitch.tv backslash movie gaming tv i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for all the support as always and i'll see you guys in the next video peace